Hi guys, it is time for monthly favorites. I have no idea where May went. Um, I have no idea where this year went. It seems like this year has been so fast and my crazy dog. Uh, it seems like this year's went so fast and I, I'm just gonna go with the flow cause I don't know what else to do. So I have a few things this month that are old favorites that have just kind of come back to the forefront I guess because of the season and then I have some that I have absolutely used to the death so let's get started with some things that I actually used until they were completely empty first off this Urban Decay B6 spray I had gotten this a while ago I don't even think I can get anything out of it very very little um, yeah, it's empty. I got this a while ago, and I wasn't sure that I was going to like it, so I got the little mini size that's at the little, you know, the, the wraparound going to the, the, the register in Sephora. I think it was around $16, and this is awesome. Definitely going to be buying the full size of this because I need this in my life. It's just been fantastic. It feels so good to put on almost instead of moisturizer it just makes everything a little less heavy with the heat and the humidity it's been crazy raining here but it's also been hot really humid so i definitely have to go get more of this huge monthly favorite the second one is a perfume and i used all of this pure paradise it was actually i think i got this last summer maybe last summer Whenever I got it, it was about to here when I first started using it this month, and it's it's gone. There's there's nothing like it won't even spray at all. This is a Bath and Body Works signature collection, so I'm hoping that I I'll be able to find this again. Probably won't use the entire bottle, you know, since for me fade in and out. But um, I want to kind of use this a little bit longer, so I'm gonna go look for this again. For my lips, the thing I've been loving, and I'm not wearing it today, I was I wanted to try some new things on my face today, so I'm not, I don't think I'm wearing, oh, you know what, I am wearing some of the eyeshadow, but this has been my go-to lip for this month. It is so awesome. It's a Maybelline color. It's 880 Electric Orange. It's so creamy and so vibrant. It's, I think it's beautiful. I think it's very wearable. When I saw the, I think I got this at Target. When I saw the, the cap, I thought that is going to be an unwearable shade. That's going to be crazy because it's, the collection is the Vivids, the Color Sensational Vivids, but it really is very wearable. It's super creamy, super emollient. You do have to reapply this quite often because it's so creamy and emollient. But it's beautiful and it smells good too. Mmm, kind of like a vanilla bean. For eyes, there's two things that I've been going for. This uh, Urban Decay Ammo Palette. And I'm just going to be honest. I've been using almost all of these shades. Sin and Chopper, a lot. Polyester Bride, a lot. Today I'm actually wearing Sin and Last Call with a tiny bit of Grifter and Polyester Bride. These are so beautiful. They're shiny without being too much bling. I, I, I think they're gorgeous. Definitely been a favorite. I've reached for this all month. Also, another thing that I've been reaching for all month is this color right here. Let me pull it out so I can see what color it is. It is a uh, Coastal Scents Midnight Rodeo is what it is. And it is pretty freaking amazing. Uh, superb shade to go into the crease. Blends out like nobody's business. It's just a really nice shade. All these are, are well, these four are Coastal Scents. This one, this is actually a blush. Um, it's a Pandora box blush in pink carnation. 
And then this one right here is a cargo color. Um, I think it's called Green Bay. But this one right here, yes please. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And goes with just about any look. It looks really dark brown, but it's really not that deep unless you want to really pack it on and make it that deep. You can thin this out to be just gorgeous, as light as you want. Something from the vaults. <laughs> Um, my Bye Bye Pores Powder from It Cosmetics. This stuff, I forgot how amazing it was. This is in the translucent. I don't know why I put this down. I think I was just trying other powders, trying other things. And I picked this back up, I don't know when, probably right at the end of April. Just to, just to see if it would give me that flawless finish over my Urban Decay Naked Skin, which is a favorite, but I'm not showing it here because I've shown it before. I'm just still loving it. It's just the perfect consistency, still the perfect color. It's beautiful. So trust, that is still a huge favorite of mine, but I'm not showing it here. I wanted to see how this would go on over it because I didn't want a heavy, heavy look. And some of my powders, if you're not super careful, can give you a really, really heavy look. So, I picked this one back up and have no idea why I ever put it down. It is amazing. The texture is like silk. No scent. I actually blot it on with this little thing so you'll see tons of like makeup on it. But this powder is so silky. It's it's beautiful. It is a beautiful, beautiful powder and probably going to be using this all summer <laughs> just because it's so light and it really does set everything without adding any more texture or any heaviness. My last, th yeah, my last thing, I, I really didn't bring a whole lot in because I'm still using a lot of last month's favorites <laughs> because they're still favorites. But this is a bronzer by Pixie. Um, the color is Summertime. And I received this in my Ipsy bag. It's, it's beautiful. So shimmery. Brown, not orange. Not wearing it today because I decided to go with my Chocolate Soleil. But almost, if you were to wear this just under or just over your blush shade which is how I've been wearing it and I've also been dusting a little bit of it over like my cheeks and my the bridge of my nose it just gives you the most beautiful sun-kissed glow so really thankful to Ipsy for this because it has been something that I've reached for almost every single day don't know why I w didn't use more of these today. I mean, they were right there in front of me. I hadn't called them out yet for the video. But I just kind of wanted to do something a little different. How do you guys like my hair? Um, I absolutely love it. My hairdresser, he I pretty much let him... A lot of times I let him do whatever the hell he wants. And I never regret it. So he picked out... This orange shade is can it's called Cantaloupe. And then I forget what this purple shade is, but it's a type of, I want to say it was a violet, a violet color. Um, they're the ion colors that you get from Sally's Beauty Supply. I looked a hot mess when he started and he just kind of brought me back together. So definitely love Andy because he he just he makes my hair into art and I could never do that and I haven't really had too many hairdressers that could so this is very reminiscent to me of when my very best friend in the whole world Laura Kogan used to do my hair we used to have these all night sessions where like every Friday we would we would do our hair a different color and it was crazy, but it was so much fun, and I never got bored of my hair. I, I always felt like it looked beautiful, and I kind of missed that, and I think that that's why I went back to these, you know, I just needed a change. I needed some crazy colors in my life, and it, like I said, Andy picked these out, and I think they look great, but school is starting back on Monday. I'm actually 
very happy about that too because I'm bored. <laughs> I'm so bored. Um, it's it's a slow season for us. We, we're not manufacturing any candles because we have a ton of candles. Um, we haven't really been doing a whole lot of selling simply because it's been raining cats and dogs outside. This is the most sun we have seen in a long time. And I figured I better, I better take advantage of it and, and film this video while I have at least a little bit of sunshine. But hopefully all of that will pick up. All I know is that I'm so bored. I'm so tired of TV. I'm so tired of naps. Never thought I would say that, but I've had so many naps that it's insane. It's, it's insane. Um, Brian, you're being crazy. <sighs> crazy sassy dogs. But that's all I have for you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I enjoy filming these. I love letting you guys know what I've been loving. And I kind of like catching up and having a little bit of girl talk. Um, oh, my dogs are driving me crazy. I will see you guys later. And I hope you have a good weekend. Bye.